Hello there and welcome to this video where we are going to be looking at how we can do a hero section with a big background video like this and really it doesn't have to be a hero section it can go anywhere you want in your site but we're not just going to look at how we can make the video background like this with some text on it we're also going to be stepping it up we're going to look at how we can really easily overlay a color on it just like this and we're going to be doing that without creating an extra div like a cover div or overlay div or whatever you want to darken it or if you had to it could work to lighten it as well and because it is super easy Easy to do we can also do it to overlay gradients just like this and with this gradient overlay just as easy as that color overlay again no need for any extra divs this is all being done with just our main div and the parent that's in there so let's jump in and see how we can do all of this Now I just want to say before we get started in all of this, a really important note, I'm not doing a deep dive into video for this one. We're going to do enough to get it set up, but the focus of it really is on the CSS side. If you'd like to see a video that looks more into HTML5 videos, please leave a comment down below and let me know about it. And that's something that interests you. And I'll look at doing a video that takes a much bigger, deeper dive into it, the different video formats so we can set up sources and all of that. But for now, let's go and see how we can do just this video background. So here we are in VS Code and we're ready to get going. And the very first thing I'm going to do is come right here and I'm going to bring in my video. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need a video just like that. And in my video, we do need our source. On my source, it needs an SRC, so it's just like an image. And we also need a type on here to let it know what type of video it is. Now, in this case, I have a video already. So it's in an assets folder and it's called swans.mp4. So over here, because it is an MP4, I do want to write video forward slash MP4 on there because it is an MP4. Let me turn off the word wrap that we had on there. So um, we're going to have something like that. So it's my source, the assets and the type. But as I said in the intro, this is not a deep dive into how to set up our video. Um, we're just really looking at how to set it up as a video background. So I'm going to turn my word wrap back off and keep going on this. Um, on the video here, to get this to work, there are a few important things that we have to do. So one of those is to autoplay it because we want our video to play automatically, obviously, because there are no controls. Now, this is one of those things that generally is sort of frowned upon, but we're going to be doing it anyway because we don't have a choice. If it's in the background, people can't interact with it. We do need it autoplay. And in most modern browsers these days, we also need to have the muted attribute on there because without the muted attribute, it's not going to autoplay. A lot of the browsers these days are stopping videos from autoplaying if they are not muted. Even though this video has no soundtrack, it is important that that is there. And if we just do it like this, it's going to play one time and then it will stop. So we also want to throw a loop on there. So let's hit save and see what we got. So there we go. I have my text and I have that video playing right there. Now, one of the reasons that is next to each other and not underneath is because I do have a display of flex on my hero here. That's just because I'm going to be using that or I am using that to keep my text right in the middle. If you do want to watch a video on how to center things, I do have a link in the description below but that does look at five different ways we can center things vertically, and this is one of them. Um, now, the real trick to having a video background that actually ends up in the background is, well, we need to have it be position absolute. So I'm actually going to come back to my index here just really quickly, and on my video itself right here, I'm going to add a class of video BG and hit save on that. Then we're going to come back to here, and I'm going to add that in right here, video BG and I need to add some styles to it. Now, one thing is I am going to be doing this as position absolute. And because this is on the site hero section, that's at the top of my screen, the position absolute would sort of work here, but we always want to make sure that it's within its parent. So to make sure it's always within its parent, we do need to do a position relative up over here. It could be a different position, but generally speaking, you'll probably be using position relative most of the time for this to make sure that when we do a position absolute, that it is within, that it's sticking around within the parent up here. So I'm gonna do a position absolute. I'm gonna to say top zero and left zero. Let's hit save and see what's happened. And look at that, it has repositioned itself. Now you might be noticing there are a few different problems. One of them is it's on top of everything and we need it to be below our text. So that is problem number one. Problem number two is it's actually overflowing out the bottom of this. So it's sticking out the bottom, which we don't wanna happen. And problem number three is it's not wide enough. So I'm gonna fix this overflow problem first. I'm gonna come on my hero, and on here we're gonna just give this an overflow of hidden, 
to make sure that if it is overflowing at the side, that that will not cause a problem. And with the changes we're about to make, it could potentially overflow left and right as well on the x-axis, and we don't want that to happen either. So I'm gonna come down here on my video BG, and we're gonna play with this a little bit to make sure it always fits the size of the parent. So what I'm gonna do is give it a min width of 100%, and I'm also gonna give this a min height of 100%. And I'm gonna hit save on that, now it is matching the size of that background. This is going to be a little bit like a background size cover, but there is one problem with it. We're going to be seeing the solution to that problem at the very end of this video, because I want to focus on just getting it as a background first, and then we're going to see how we can actually have it centered instead of it being stuck on the top left here, because it is a little bit trickier on how we could do something like that. Now the very first, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually take off my padding of 200 zero that I had here, which was just pretty much giving me my height. I had 200 padding on the top and 200 padding on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is give this a minimum height of 100 VH, which should make it the full size. Just reiterating what I was saying before, we were running into a little bit of an issue where I'm sort of stuck in the top left here. So again, we're going to solve that problem in a little bit. So one thing, now the, obviously the biggest issue we still have right now is that it's in front of our text. So how can we deal with that? Well, this is something I find that's absolutely fascinating with position absolute. And what that is, is if you, we, I'm sure you know about Z index, but if you give a Z index that's a negative value, it will actually push it below the parent, which is really, really cool and useful. So if I hit save on that, it disappears because it's behind the parent itself right now. And you might be saying, well, what's the point now? We can't see it. Well, let's turn off my background for a second. There we go. Look at that. So with no background on there, my text, my video playing in the background, super, super sweet. I think that looks really cool. I'm actually going to shrink this down to like a 50 VH. And so there we go. We can see it playing really nicely. Everything is working just fine. But what if we wanted to have a background on there? Can you think of a way that would be kind of cool here? Because this is kind of neat. So what I'm going to do is give this a background, but it's going to be an RGBA value instead. And if I give it an RGBA value, let's give it a 000, 000 first and say like a 0 0.5. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to darken the entire video. If I make this a 0 0.75, it makes it even darker. If I make it a 0 0.25, it makes it lighter. And we can do some really cool things with that because instead of using just an RGBA like that, we could give this a linear gradient background image, just like that linear gradient. And let's just say it's uh, 90 degrees. So it's going left to right and we'll do a red to blue. And just like that, we have a nice simple gradient, but there's a problem once again, is it's on top of my image and I can't see it. So we could transfer this red. Let's just put each one of these on its own line because it's gonna make it a heck of a lot easier to read. I'm gonna just move these over. So here, instead of red, I'm gonna do an RGBA and my red is gonna be 255 because that's 100% red, zero green, zero blue, and we'll do a point 35, I think on that. And here, instead of blue, we need another RGBA. And this time it will be zero, zero for no red, no green, 255 blue. And we'll stick with the point th point 0.35 right there. And we get a gradient overlay. Not sure if it works super well with this video. You will notice it jumped over there. That's just because I have prettier running right now. Maybe we could boost the values on this. This is, I think, built in automatically to, um, VS code, where if you hover over, you can sort of make some changes there. And you can see that the gradient is on top of there. So that's obviously another option that you can be using playing with your RGBA values to get something like that working. But I think for now, I'm going to get rid of that and go back to having it on just like that, where we're darkening up our video, and I'm going to dark it up a little bit more to make sure our text is super easy to read. Now, I did mention that we we're sort of stuck a little bit. So let's go and bring this back up 100 VH again. And so now we are stuck here back in the top left and we might want the center of the video to stay there regardless of screen size. So, I'll, you know, I could take my window and I'm going to make it bigger and then I am seeing the center of my video. But then when we're on the smaller screen size here, obviously we're running into a bit of an issue where we're not seeing the center and maybe that's important. So to fix something like that, what I'm actually going to do is come back down here onto my video BG, but I'm going to switch the top and the left. And I'm going to do a 50% on this one and a 50% on that one. And I'm going to hit save. And we're going to see that that puts the top left of the video dead center. And you might be saying, well, that that's kind of useless. But then what we can do is come and do a transform translate. And what I want to do is a negative 50%, negative 50%. 
And what that's doing is it's taking the video itself. This is looking at the dimensions of the video and it's gonna move it its own size 50% that way and its own size 50% up this way. And that will actually make it dead center. So let's hit save on that and boom, now we're focused on the center of the video. And if we resize my screen, you can see that it's always, always, always focused right on the middle of it instead of being focused on the top left when our screen was resizing. And of course that would work at absolutely any screen size. It's just when we had it here, we weren't really seeing that, but it will work across the board. And that is, that is actually one of the other tricks that is in that video that I talked about, about how we can center stuff. So if you do want to check that video up, there is a card for it on the screen right now. Recommend you go and check that one out if you have some time. A big thank you for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've learned something or if you have any questions or comments or video topic ideas, please leave them down below. And as usual, a huge thank you to my patrons for helping support me and making all of this possible. Thank you very, very much, guys. You guys are amazing. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.